Hey everybody, Bill Nye, the science guy. And I'm gonna show you how to build or screw up an electrolysis tank. There's a ton of tutorials on YouTube, but this is mine. I tried this once before and I got a crappy Harbor Freight battery charger and it just, it was dead out of the box. So I took it back and I got another one, but Assuming this works, things you will need, a bucket. I used four pieces of rebar, probably could have done with less than that, but I used four. Instructional video I saw used four. 12 gauge solid copper wire. Wire nuts, those were like a buck fifty, I think the wire was ten or eleven bucks. I got this die hard manual battery charger you have to have the manual automatic will not work but a manual battery charger i got it on walmart.com for 20 something bucks i think super washing soda not baking soda and you'll need some needle nose pliers and a pocket knife to strip and cut the wire what i did is i just made some little ties into that wire and put it around the rebar and kind of crimped it down which is another tool you might need. I just crimped it down so it would be tight on the rebar with channel locks I have not plugged this up yet but in theory now let me show you what I've got in here this is one of the first things I found when I started metal detecting this is old iron it's pretty crusty so I was going to try that first and from what I saw in other tutorials, don't let whatever you're trying to clean come in contact with the rebar. And also, don't use stainless because it's like when Ghostbusters cross the streams, you'll kill Marshmallow Man and blow up your house and all that. Um, let's see, what else am I forgetting? There was something else I was gonna tell you. Maybe that's it. So, we have not plugged this up, but we're about to. So I did forget to tell you, positive goes on the rebar, negative goes on the wire that's on the part that you're trying to clean. And I didn't really explain how I did this, but you see down in there where the copper wire is just kind of pushed through the holes that I drilled in the bucket. I twisted that up and then stripped the end of the wire on this side, wrapped it around, secured it with a wire nut. Same thing here, wrapped, secured with a wire nut. Here with a wire nut, and here with a wire nut. So you're just doing the three sides, one, two, three. You don't go all the way around. So, I don't know the exact proportions you're supposed to use this, I don't remember, but I use my Julia Child-like skills to eyeball it. I don't know how well it would have worked and I'm not pinched that down or as we say in Alabama pinched. I pinched them down. It seemed kind of floppy that's why I did that even with the wire twisted. I didn't if you use thicker wire it might be easier. I don't know but this is my first attempt so we're gonna plug this thing up and if we did everything right we should start seeing bubbles in the tank and I don't know if I can plug this up and hold the camera at the same time. You just may get a really good close-up of the plug. And throw up from all the shaking around. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there are bubbles. So it works. And I'm doing this. This is a 2 amp and a 6 amp manual charger. I'm doing it at 2 amps. You could probably crank it to 6 and cut the time in half but I'm not gonna blow anything up but the reason you don't want to use stainless steel wire from what I've read is it creates a pretty nasty chemical reaction and that stuff's toxic and another thing you want to watch out for are the bubbles are flammable so don't be smoking your cigars and doing this next to a bonfire. So that's it. 
This is my electrolysis tank from a Tidy Cat's litter bucket. Thanks for watching. Bye.